Do you believe in God? No. Well, of course you believe in him. You killed him. Lucara, grab the band-aid. Phone brain just got fucking stage four cancer from all the radiation and our big ass oh. studio lights. Channel Awesome, or back in the day, that guy with the glasses, was a company founded by Doug Walker as a safe space for reviewers because YouTube said, fuck the critics, we need more smog. But here's the problem. You put a bunch of these guys and gals on a ship, it turns out like this. He wouldn't suspect us all if just you go in. No! No, 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 no. Doug decided it would be a great idea to grab all these guys and put them in a movie. I'm gonna make you a star, Jew Wario. And ironically, he really did turn out like most of Hollywood. Oh, no. Kickassia released in 2010 and it followed the nerd crew as they tried to take over Molossia and Yassified and turn it into Mo Yassia. They all show up with their fake child's toy guns, but then the Molassia guy pulls out a gun and mows them all down. If you don't know, Molassia is a real place, and this, this, this guy owns it, and he agreed to show up being in this, because look at him, he makes up stuff about how he had his own country. Of course he would be in here. He probably thought Doug was like Johnny Depp. I always thought a Veruca was a type of wart you got on the bottom of your foot. <laughs> There's a lot of scenes where they hang out in this one hotel room, just all of them. This is probably a joke, but I wish it was real. Just try to imagine the snow in that room. Cinema Snob has to sleep on top of Doug. There's not enough room. They don't even have water or food. They just have graham crackers and freeway cola. Spoonie is doing a Sonic Werehog thing, but instead of a Werehog, it's this guy. <laughs> the Soundtrack Critic puts on his Nazi costume and they prepare for war. I'm sorry, but I fucking love Phalus. And how he's dressed like a Target employee. Hey, first of all, it's Phalus, not Phallus. Second, the guy's standing right there looking at you. Why don't you send the signal yourself? <laughs> Phallus, just do it. I really hope at least one of them got their, like, legs caught in a cactus. And I hope it was Lucari. His scream would probably be the funniest. He has a scene where he pretends Mars Girl is dead. And it would generally be better than his actual try at acting. Hey, yeah, I know we're filming the big scene, but let me put on my bum reviews costume real quick. It will only take 30 minutes. Jew Wario almost gets hit by a train. It's just a toy train. You really showed that rapist what's what, Phalus. There's this one guy who I don't know, but he always has this little toy bear. And I hope he didn't turn out evil. It was another to serve you, but I mean... Hey, awesome. Sadly, after Flat Stanley does this, nothing really cool happens. It just becomes a stupid comedy where they do nothing and everyone hates Doug because he's a terrible leader. Oh yeah, that also happens in the movie. <laughs> what if I told you this was the last picture taken before this family was ever seen alive again? I don't really hate this one because it's so fucking hilarious when all the grown-up men have their little toy guns. And then he joins stuff like this anyway, I don't care. I love when reviewers just do stupid shitty skits because they're bored of reviewing. It's a problem when it becomes an ego fest, but that doesn't really happen in this one. It's just stupid bullshit. And some of these guys are having fun, like French stuffed bear man. I don't, I, I don't actually know if he's having fun, but I am. To be fair, there are some good jokes, and unlike most food groups, it contains failures. Well, I guess I have an idea. Wait! I have an idea! Do I actually recommend it? No, yeah. Yes. Whatever, this is probably the best one because it isn't about them saving the universe, but sadly, it looks like a gay porn parody of a real film. It's a real shame that Doug Ford Cinema stopped to go get his Nazi uniform out of the car because he forgot it. I heard he died on the way back, gripping it in his hand, and they kept uploading to his channel to keep it in memory. Sometimes I do get Domino's. I do like Domino's. They're... Mm -mm. Spinach fred of feta bread, definitely. Suburbanites. I didn't watch this one yet. Hopefully I record footage of me doing so and I can put it right here. I can't like bring myself to watch anything that Nostalgia Critic is like. He's not that bad. In my opinion, he's not that bad. I know that he's not that bad, but it's like, it's what he stands for. <laughs> Nostalgia. I like Linkara. You like Linkara? I've heard some bad things about him. <laughs> Did he do something? Uh, he did something like a, I heard, yeah, some people like leaked like his like Rule 34 like searches and it wasn't too good. Something like that. 
I think he looked up he looked up dead like, Muppets or something. Gay dead Muppet gangbang. He's looked up dead Muppets. I think I can't tell if you're being real. <laughs> no, I am being real. This guy's name is Spooty Spooty Sid. And now, yeah, yeah, get was not my contract. <laughs> <laughs> can we watch that? Uh, editor me, if this clip is in here, put a bottom clip, put, put bottom right, put, but yoga was not in my contract. Everyone look up, everyone look up Talking Spoon, like 1995. Doug Walker is close enough to women to have them be in this, and that's like a... <laughs> Um, and then they all go outside, and the, the neighbors are scared. The neighbors are scared. <laughs> I really, there should be a scene from, like, Cool Cat, where the neighbor, like, walks out, and he walks back in. Maybe she needs mouth to mouth. Hey! Oh, no. Oh, no. Gentle Awesome did it again. Listen here, you skirted little green fairy. It's funny because it isn't me. I want to find this treasure. Okay, that was. I actually like that joke. I like that joke. God damn it. Oh, oh! I will eat your penis! What is happening? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. Yeah, whatever. You go to the back. What the fuck is that? I'll help you overcome your problems with bestiality. What? Oh, then Car's looking and he's like dead Muppets. He's looking for dead Muppets. Someone just said she bad though. What is doing this? Multiple people are saying this. It's vegan t shirt. <laughs> I thought like stuff would happen in this movie. Nothing's happening. Oh no, here oh, we come. I think this is the scene where he's like, I just wanted to ask you what you wanted for breakfast. I love this scene. I know about this scene. You made an altar to this god, haven't you? I just, I just wanted to know what kind of popcorn you wanted. <laughs> this is a legendary scene. This is better than the coin flip scene. Coliseums for the damned. You'd rather watch That's Korea. the best actor in this. That guy just like. I just asked if you wanted some popcorn. The like troglodyte caveman right there. That makes you He's the best one. A human being. A human being. I just asked if you wanted some popcorn. <laughs> what do you think of the Put that in, just put that in the video 10,000 times and it will always be funny. I just, I don't know why it broke me to see the judges like, I just, I just asked, asked you if you wanted some popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. So I just wanted it. Want I'm so happy everyone agrees that the popcorn part is the best part of this movie. I just want to know the popcorn. This movie's like mass hysteria that he got so many people to do this. It's not just him having a mental breakdown. This is just like mass hysteria happening. <laughs> Right, it's like everybody. the Come most on, documented everybody. case of mass hysteria in ever. Gay dead Muppet gangbang. At the end of Suburban Nights, the, the beloved character Mati dies, and this of course means he's resurrected as a black hole called the plot hole, and he hates the critic now because, yeah, and the critic is haunted by his death, even though in his own videos he seems to love killing random people, especially if they're annoying. But whatever, character arc. This is the next film, To Boldly Flee. I actually like this title. It's pretty good. More like to boldly suck. Ha! This is one with the all the drama I should mention. The movie is three fucking hours. And yes, I did watch the entire thing, but that was like two years ago. But don't worry, I skimmed through it. Zod singing scene is fresh in my head. I just couldn't take watching the entire thing again. Okay, three hours. I don't know what you expect from people who don't even like watching movies, but whatever. The real problem is that it was filmed over a couple weeks. Now, this isn't the worst Hollywood story, but Doug, what the fuck? You can see Phelous in the background of a couple shots just not giving a fuck. It looks like he's about to pull a Jew war. Yeah, unlike kick -Ass, yeah, it really just feels not fun. Everyone looks so drained of life. And the movie itself is like Suburbanites in the way it's stupid parody bullshit where they parody a movie and we're supposed to get the joke. One of the main villains is a random character from a sci-fi movie nobody fucking watched. And be smart by cinema. And then Doug dresses like J Judge Doom and kills the same three people over and over. At least Kikassia was a little original. This oh, is just... I'm sorry. Not Man, what the fuck? The only improvement is how the movie looks. They try a little harder with the cinematography and the camera just looks better, but whatever. It's funnier when it looks like this. <laughs> to be fair, there are some things I like. The scene where Mati is like hacking or haunting the computer or whatever is done kind of well. And despite the ending scene being infamous... Who are you? 
<clears throat> I, I, I'm the writer. He's the writer. Pay the fuck attention. Okay, I know he's saving the universe, and he's an internet know. critic, and the fucking writer, Doug, is the hero. But the part where he's choosing whether to walk out is kind of cool, like how he just looks at his foot. And he has a little taste of freedom from the reviews. And the effects on Critic's apparent sacrifice are actually pretty cool. Wow, Critic, you did it! Bayless has a stupid subplot because he dresses like he works at Target. No, not this time. Yes! Finally, a red shirt is gonna do something other than die! Put that in here. Alright. Full impulse. Shields at maximum. And shake that camera more for dramatic effect. This isn't actually good, I just like fail us. Let's talk about pacing. It takes the first hour of the film to get to the space house. That ends the discussion on pacing. Nothing fucking happens in this movie. The whole middle portion is like when you put too much peanut butter on a sandwich. What the fuck is happening in there? There's so many characters I want to mention, but I really can't because they do nothing. Film brain is like, oh, I love you, nostalgia critic. I would never <laughs> abandon you. Cinema snob just kind of fucks off and has a plot about becoming Darth Vader. And this person is Luke, and she does the Luke thing, and Snob is a good guy again. Why is this happening? Okay, so let's talk about Mecha Kara. Time. Internet reviewer. Mecha Kara was a character in Linkara's videos, like how Dr. Insano was in Spoonie videos. And fucking Linkara, man. What the fuck? Linkara does nothing in the movie, but it's fine. We still get a great Lewis Lovehog performance because Mechakara starts turning random critics into robots because that's... They, ne they needed something to do. I feel like I should feel bad for making fun of this, but I don't because I don't think anyone cares. Phelous definitely doesn't, so why should I? This is very comparable to Borderline Forever, the 200th video by Scott the Waz. They're basically both movies, and they both go to space. Need any more proof? Look, who is that? Tell me who the fuck that is. I want every gun we have to fire on that man. But here's the difference. It took more than two weeks. It was only an hour, and most of that stuff is Scott filmed by himself. It has actual impressive scenes like songs because he got professionals to help him, stop motion shit that he commissioned. Even when it's bad, it's purposely bad because it's a shit post. All of his friends have way more character because they are all trying to be the main guy because they aren't YouTubers, and there's like way less to focus on. You want me to give a shit about film brain? Please, yep. tell me why I should give a flying give a fuck about, about film yelling. brain. And I have undeniable proof that this was a better production. Nobody fucking abandoned Scott after Listen, this release. Listen guys, I'm not one to leave the party early, but when people start getting murdered, that's where I draw the line. The Stagia Critic doesn't even have the light bringer left. He just has Cinema Snob and fucking Malcolm Ray. It's really in our movie. This isn't a perfect video or anything, but it's a way better version of this idea. It's still stupid gamer saves the world, but here's my problem. I love that shit. To be fair, both are kind of impressive feats, but which one would I rather watch? This one has peanut butter gamer cameo. Fuck Campbell. you. This isn't the worst thing to exist, but it's not good and it wasn't even fun to make. So what's the damn point? Hey, would to give my character a proper ending. That was the end of the Channel Awesome movies. Nostalgia Critic was gone, and Doug made demo reels. Good thing that was a complete success, and he never had to return to this character. A lot of members would break ties, and the majority would drift off into the world of nothingness. Except one man. Atop the fourth wall was a show made by Lewis Lovehog. Lovehog. <laughs> It's about the Lightbringer, Linkara, who reviews comic books, and then villain shows up so this can happen. I was actually mesmerized by him, and I still kinda am, but I mistook this for him being a good person, and he's really not. I even made a video about him back in the day. I saved, saved him, him, and I shouldn't have. My opinion on these two have completely flipped. They're both kind of egotistical and ignorant, but Doug knows what he is, and I kind of I, I kind of like him now, and I respect him for still doing this, being able to take criticism even after making well, no you, clip you pixels review. But Mr. Lovehawk thinks he's hot shit. It doesn't take any criticism. Are you a Nazi, Linkara? No. Are you a Nazi? 
Nazi League, Carl! No! Because I don't want any Nazis around no, here! No, I'm not a Nazi! I'm not! I'm not! I'm not a Nazi! And I'm sorry. But when I'm at my lowest, a Nostalgia Critic video from like 2013 to 2015 feels so good. When some evil villain shows up, it's usually someone who represents the movie and how bad it is or whatever. In a Linkara video, it's what the fuck is happening, there's too much lore. There's like reoccurring characters, and then there's this. Do you believe in God? Atop the fourth wall, the movie released in 2015 after being funded by fans. He raised so much money, and I don't know where the hell it went, because the only new thing here is this like spaceship set made of cardboard. Uh, actually, it's phobe insulation. The story is about Linkara having PTSD from finding gods or something, and then he sleeps with his fedora on. Okay, to be fair, it's because he was drunk and passed out, but also, he wasn't drunk while filming, so why is this just one shot? This entire PTSD scene is just this sh one shitty shot. You just put the camera on your nightstand and thrashed in bed. Maybe he was drunk. Now then! Why are you not drinking alcohol right now? It is my birthday tomorrow, and we are supposed to be celebrating. Would that I could, Linkara, but I have to monitor the Kylestis' communications with Earth tomorrow, and I cannot be hungover for that. Why do you want to call it Jupiter? You know what said Jupiter? Nothing. Oh man, he really was fucking wasted. No actor can fake that. This government guy is like, I trust you, Linkara. Please, you're our only help, but then he gets blowed up and a bunch of pizza sauces on his face. Sir? Ugh, why does it cut like that? It's not in the same room, Lewis! Lingara's character is just going through a bunch of shit, and he's really putting his all into this performance. I've seen this clip so many times, but I don't care. I still find it funny. You, you guys have never stared into the face of an angry god as it laughs at how small you are, and then you stare right back at it and make it blink! And then you froze! Yeah, I did. Coldest line in history. I got literal chills. No joke, I froze. There's a bunch of other critics here, like Angry Joe, Cinema like Stop, and like then you. you Froze Girl. But they literally do nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. What's funny is that Lulu didn't really give them a character, but did for all four of the characters played by him. There's these two other Lewis characters on the ship from his YouTube videos. Frank Sinatra, for some reason. Like, he's just... It's just Frank this Sinatra, that's the joke. I can't tell if it's a joke, because all of his scenes are like, Kara is a good kid, but I won't be around long enough to protect him. Then there's 90s kid. Why the fuck is Frank Sinatra here? Holy fuck! I take every thing back i'm pumped as fuck oh my god it's the turn of mecha car he's back because he's back plot hole from the last movie mecha car is back you want to know what happens <laughs> yeah linkara froze he's just so scary especially when he rips this play-doh off and he becomes a halloween skeleton but where the fuck did he come from they beat robo kara and linkara isn't depressed now because he now understands that life isn't about adventures and the fighting gods it's about reviewing a comic book and then robot robot kara comes in <laughs> he may have froze but damn did he make me feel all warm and cozy Oh god, it's, it's burning it. So that's the end. All the drama is over. Film Brain left, Linkara left, and is still doing this. Cinema Snob didn't leave. Angry Joe? Angry Joe. Uh, Phaelis is... I don't know. And Doug is still going at it. And honestly, I don't care. Godspeed. I don't give a shit. I hope he makes five more to Boldly Fleas. Wouldn't you want to work for one big company? Ah, Channel Awesome, you've done it again. <clears throat> No, but for real, I have no idea how to end this, but I just want to say I am I am incredibly upset that I like Modern Channel Awesome more than Modern Cinemassacre. James will always still be better, but I'm sorry, I can tell Doug has a passion for these stupid skits he puts in. This is messed up. It, it wasn't supposed to be like this. Yeah. I just asked if you wanted some popcorn. 